We're going to go through Google AI Studio with the Gemini 2.0. Uh, but before we get going, hit that subscribe button, hit that uh, thumbs up if this content gives you any uh, help at all. And uh, so if you haven't heard of Google AI Studio, we're going to walk through it and it's pretty amazing. It's kind of trippy as you go through it. Let's just say that. So I do a lot of tutorial videos and this is kind of something that may uh, be the death of tutorials on YouTube. So uh, we're going to show you how it works. Uh, we've got a link below how to get uh, Google AI Studio. It's just basically aistudio.google.com. And uh, you'll go into, you'll start out with the stream real time. And then uh, we'll just walk you through. And we're going to walk through building a funnel in high level with Google AI Studio. So this could be some pretty cool stuff. Uh, and we'll see how smart it is because high level is a back end uh, dashboard, so it's secure. How uh, it would know how to run this, I'm not sure, but uh, that's the uh, future of AI. So if you're a company before we get going and you're looking for to build AI teams for your sales, for uh, day to day personal assistant, whatever you want, uh, shoot me an email. My email's down below. That's what we do. We build AI, custom AI for uh, companies, uh, big and small, Fortune 500 companies to small business. So if you want to eliminate uh, some of the day-to-day -day stuff and stay ahead of the competition, uh, shoot me up the email. So let's get started. So we're going to uh, go with stream real time. So we're just going to click on this on the left. And then one thing I'm going to tell you just before we get going, this is a disclaimer. So uh, the disclaimer is that Google does use uh, these recordings to train their AI. And so if uh, they record your voice, they record your screen, so do not share sensitive information with Google uh, AI when you're doing this because your sensitive information may be on the web later on. So we're going to get going here. So we're going to click on, um, on the, uh, if I can get my mouse up there. There we go. Uh, we're going to start record in the bottom left here. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to select uh, this little screen here. And we want to select okay. the screen here. So he's going to start talking to me right away. Hey, Google. OK, I can hear you. Is there anything I can do to help? Yes, uh, I'm going to share my screen with you. And I would like you to help me build a new funnel here if you could tell me what the software is. Sure, I can help with that. The software you are showing me is called Sproutify. It looks like you are on the funnels page. Do you have more questions about this software? Can you help me build a new funnel for a launching a SaaS company? Okay, I understand you want to build a new funnel in Sproutify for a SaaS company launch. Is that correct? What would be the first step you would like to start with? Uh, I would like to build a new funnel. Can you tell me how to do that in this Dashboard? Sure, I can help with that. You can create a new funnel by clicking the plus new funnel button on the top right of the page. Would you like to proceed? Yes. So I come up with three options here. Uh, which option do you recommend I choose? Okay, you have three options from blank, funnel AI, and from templates. From blank lets you design from scratch. Funnel AI will create a funnel using AI, and from templates will let you use a pre built funnel. Which one you choose depends on your comfort level and how customized you need the funnel to be. Do you know which of those you prefer? Yeah, let's go with blank and I'll call this, do I need to name this funnel? Yes, it looks like the funnel name is a required field, so you will need to give it a name to continue. What would you like to name it? I'll call it SAS test. Okay, the funnel name will be SAS test. 
Do you want to go ahead and click the create button? Yes. Okay. I see you have clicked the create button. What would you like to do next? I would like to add a new step. How do I do that? To add a new step to your funnel, you can click the add new step or import button located under funnel steps. Would you like to do that now? Yes. I'll call this first page home. The name for this page will be home. Do you want to add a path for the page or are you ready to create this step? Yeah, I'll add a path. Okay. And what will you use as the path? We'll use home. The path will be home. Are you ready to create this step now? Well, let me ask you a question. Can I use a forward slash as my path? Yes, you can use a forward slash in the path, but it must be at the beginning, not the end of the path. Would you like to add a slash to the beginning of your current path? Uh, no. Okay, no forward slash. Then, are you ready to create this step? Yes. Okay, I see that you clicked the Create Funnel Step button. What would you like to do next? We'll create the funnel. I see that you are creating the funnel. Is there anything else I can help you with? Yes. What is my next step here to get this funnel built out? Now that you've created your first step, you'll need to add content to the page. You can either select Use Existing or Create from Blank. Which would you prefer? I'll create from, or I'll use Existing. Okay, you want to use existing content. What would you like to do after that? I take that back, Google. Can I create this from blank? Okay, you want to create from blank. I see that you have selected that option. Is there anything else I can assist with? Yes, what would be my first step once getting in here to create this funnel? Okay, you are now in the page builder for the home step of your funnel. Your first step should be to add an element to your page. You can do this by clicking the plus button on the top left. Is there anything else? No. Okay, let me know if you have any other questions. Now I'm in Photoshop, so I'm gonna ask Gemini if they can help me in Photoshop to change the colors or make this more vibrant. So I'm gonna ask Gemini a question about Photoshop. Let's see what he says. Can you help me make the colors in Photoshop more vibrant here? Sure, I can help with that. What specifically are you trying to do to make the colors more vibrant? Um, in the image that I'm showing on my screen right now that you can see, I'd like the grass to be greener. Can you take me through the steps to do that? Okay, I see that you want to make the grass in the image you are showing me look more green. There are a few ways to do this in Photoshop, but one common approach is to use the hue slash saturation adjustment layer. First, you need to open the image in Photoshop. Ben, can you tell me if you have any specific experience using Photoshop? Yes, I'm, uh, I'm versed at using Photoshop, so I know some, some of the things, but can you tell me the steps? Okay, since you are somewhat familiar with Photoshop, I will skip the basic steps. First, open the image that contains the grass you want to adjust. Then, go to the bottom of the Layers panel and click the Create New Fill or Adjustment Layer button, which looks like a circle divided in half. From the menu that appears, select hue slash saturation. Do you see the hue slash saturation adjustment in your layers panel? Oh, I see it now. Okay, so after I do that, I click the hue saturation button, correct? Create new fill or adjustment layer button. Once you select hue slash saturation, a new adjustment layer with its properties will appear in your layers panel. Do you see the menu that pops up when you click the Create New Fill or Adjustment Layer button? Yes, I do see it now. Now in the Hue slash Saturation Properties panel, you will see a drop-down menu that says Master by default. Click on it and select the color Greens from that drop-down. After doing this, a new set of controls will appear. Do you see the drop-down that says Master? Yes. Great. Now click on that drop-down and select Greens from the list. Once you have selected greens, you will see a hue slider and a saturation slider below. Do you see the hue and saturation sliders after selecting greens? Yes. Okay, now you can adjust the saturation slider to the right to make the grass appear more vibrant. You can also adjust the hue slider if you need to tweak the color of the green. Do the sliders work as expected? Yes. Excellent. Do you have any other questions or is there anything else I can help you with? No, that's it. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. Feel free to ask. 
So as you can see, uh, we're just going to, it says stream is live, so we're going to shut that off. You can actually change the voice. So if you get tired of Puck, uh, we can change to Sharon here. And we can just say, uh, go down here. We're going to start a, a stream, a new stream. And you can hear the different voices. So if I start recording, hey, Gemini. Hello. How can I help you today? Ooh, that's a different voice that you have there. Yes, I do have a different voice. Is there anything else I can help you with? Not at the moment. I was just doing a test. I appreciate it and see you and have a good evening. Okay, sounds good. You have a good evening as well. Okay, so you can see that you can do different things. And we have tested this out with a number of different softwares, online platforms, and it is pretty precise. So uh, you still have to come up with the creative, the ideas, whatever behind something as you're building something. But I would give this a test and... Uh, on a one to 10 scale, uh, I'm gonna give it about a seven. It still needs a human in there to build out things and come up with ideas. So uh, I'm pretty impressed, but uh, obviously this is an experimental mode. So this is Google AI Studio and Gemini 2.0. If you got any uh, help out of this, if this helped you at all, Hit that thumbs up for me and uh, appreciate your subscribes. I'm trying to hit 10,000, so I'd uh, like it if you can hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys.